Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today I'm here in Ponytown building because today, well today we're going to be looking at some horrible, terrible, stupid, absolutely downright ridiculous ideas uh, that you guys have come up with. Uh, now this isn't to be mean towards any of you, I just directly asked for you guys to give me your worst ideas ever for the game and well you guys delivered. There is a, a few here that I want to go over and I'm going to uh, show them one by one. So starting off we have this one here by Spinks Inks. They said here's a stupid idea slash useless idea I have for your next video. My stupid idea is that you can set your pony on fire whenever you want to and it will be bright as hell but it would be kind of useful if you're in the dark. This one. <laughs> I love this one. This one's great. Um, just set yourself on fire whenever you want. You can just spontaneously combust. Just press a button. It's just like a little action icon or whatever, and you just press it, and then boom, you're on fire. I mean, that would be... You, get, you gotta admit, that'd be pretty awesome, but uh, <laughs> it's a horrible idea nonetheless. Uh, so let's go ahead and move into the next question, or not the next question, because this isn't a Q&A. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want a Q&A, though, because I'm more than willing to answer a few questions here and there. So here's the next one. Uh, it seems to be by someone at jcore.mov1. They said, here's a terrible idea. Ponies with unicorn horns having the ability to shoot magic at people. This ability would probably be used to annoy people, especially if the magic is super bright or colorful. Uh, it could even uh, cause seizures if spammed constantly. So uh, obviously they kind of explained why this would be a horrible idea because it would definitely increase the amount of people that uh, would have seizures playing the game, which honestly is isn't a very good thing um uh, overall though i you know it would be kind of cool if there was something like this but at the same time it it's kind of dumb <laughs> shooting magic at people i don't think we're ever going to see any kind of pvp type elements like that i think the most pvp we're ever going to see is when they add mini games to the game or when they add um, maybe future dice commands or something uh similar to those or something like that because i don't really see any form of pvp ever coming to the game now it would be really cool if there was like a, a magic trick that you could do with your horn where it kind of sparked or something uh maybe that could be a, a alternative use instead of having it glow maybe it could do that as well uh there's definitely uh, things that they can do with unicorn horns to improve on them but i don't think we'll ever really see anything like that and definitely we're never going to see anything where you're just straight up shooting magic out of your horn because that is a little bit of a terrible idea so let's move on to the next one this next one is by zach rodriguez i hope i'm saying that right i'm pretty sure i am they said here's my terrible idea they want this to be for a april fools update where they change everyone into a default and they can't change into any other oc other than a default until the end of the day honestly i really love this <laughs> I, I know it's a terrible idea and everything like that but honestly just the concept of like doing something goofy for april fool's day is something that i really really hope that uh ponytown eventually looks into because ponytown has been around for a while and they've never done anything for april fool's day so i really hope that you know maybe next year or the year after that or something like that we finally start getting like april fool's updates where they do something really weird to the game only for that one specific day i think that would be so awesome and cool um i don't really know what that weird april fools thing could be maybe they could have like fake four leaf clovers spawn on the map or something like that that could be pretty funny and uh trolly or whatever like that is it could be a nice troll i don't know but uh, it, it just something maybe all the trees can just like not exist anymore maybe they could do something weird and wacky like that i don't know but it would be really nice to to have like uh, oh, here's another good one that you could do for like an April Fool's uh, update. Have the water become solid. H have the water just like not act as water anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that could be another funny one. But overall, uh, obviously, uh, it's a terrible idea to restrict players into being only one specific character because uh, it's a game about being whatever you want to be and uh, be whatever you want to. So obviously that's a terrible idea, but the April Fool's concept isn't a bad idea, and I really hope that Ponytown looks into that. So let's move on to the next one. This next one is by Dipchip. That's a fun username. I like that username, Dipchip. <laughs> they said their terrible idea, a stamina system, where if your pony runs around for a certain amount of time, they would get tired and slow down. You would walk so annoyingly slow that it would take forever to walk from one place to another. Wouldn't that be so fun? <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that, that, would, that would be so horrible. Uh, I, I imagine if this was implemented, it would be something like you have to eat food or something like that to um, 
to like regain your stamina or something like that you'd either have to like make your character do the sleep emote for like 30 seconds to to regain your energy or like eat stuff or something like that i don't know and maybe certain foods could have different stamina benefits and stuff like that it would be really funny uh, and interesting to see that happen but of course it would be terrible it'd be absolutely terrible uh please never do this <laughs> But uh, it is funny and uh, fun to talk about and think about. The next one is by Pepsi Dog. They actually uh, gave me three bad ideas for Pony Town. Number one, that you can throw objects at people. That includes plates, cups, and glass lanterns. So you can literally just pick up lanterns and just chuck them at people. <laughs> that would be really funny. Uh, you could also uh, essentially do food fights and stuff like that if this was ever implemented. Um, Ashes Town kind of in a way has this because you can drop items from your inventory. So, in a way, we kind of have this in Ashes Town, we just don't have it in Pony Town. And I, I, their, their thing, obviously, is like you can just straight up throw it at people, and it's like you're actually throwing at them and stuff like that. So, uh, I don't know. Um, but uh, it's not too far fetched that something like that could eventually happen where you can just like drop items and they physically fall on the ground. So, not too far fetched, but it would be a terrible idea if you could actually like throw them at people and it would like hurt them or something. Anyway, their second idea was dying in Pony Town. Uh, you can't die in Pony Town. Did you know that? I bet you didn't know that. I bet you didn't know that you can't die in Pony Town. You can die in Ashes Town though, which is really weird and interesting because that's another one that you can kind of do in Ashes Town. You can die if you drink too much. You can die if you take too many drugs. You can die in that game. Uh, there's also landmines. Uh, if you step on one of those, you can die. There's multiple different ways to die in Ashes Town. Maybe I should make a video about that. I don't know. But uh, the thing is, is uh, dying in Pony Town doesn't really have a place. There's nothing that's really threatening. So of course, that'd be a terrible idea for Pony Town. But over there in Ashes Town, it kind of works. Then their third idea here is apple cider in Pony Town uh, and the ability to get drunk. Again, their third idea is something that exists in Ashes Town. It's not necessarily apple cider, but it is alcohol and you can take it and you can get drunk. There is drunk effects and everything. It's kind of interesting that all of their bad ideas for Pony Town are literally just things that exist in Ashes Town. So I don't know if that means they don't like Ashes Town or what that means, <laughs> but it is kind of interesting that they, they all three of their bad ideas were things that are in Ashes Town. I mean, I guess the, they would be bad for Pony Town, but they do work over there in Ashes Town, you know, so yeah, maybe they're not too bad after all. I don't know, but let's move on to the next one because this next one uh, is by the question questionnaire. It's like a play on the millionaire, but questionnaire. Uh, my terrible idea is mounts. Think about it, a pony riding a hyper-realistic horse or something else. Yeah, that would be really cursed. That would legitimately be extremely cursed. I don't really know what else to say about that. Um, there is saddles in the game. Maybe if you have a saddle on yourself, then someone can can ride. They can just hop on your back and you can carry them somewhere. I don't know. That would be really weird and cursed and uh, obviously create all kinds of issues and stuff like that. And it would be a terrible idea. But uh, that's that's the point of this whole thing. <laughs> So let's move on. Uh, here's another one by Coral Charm. They said, how about physics in Ponytown? That would be uh, pretty bad. <laughs> I think to a degree it could be good, but at the same time, there's not... You can't really add too much realism to, to Ponytown because there's not really a whole lot that you can do to make it realistic. Um, I'm not 100% sure what they mean by physics in Pony Town. Maybe they mean like uh, the ice. If you run on ice and you stop, you slide a little bit. There you go. There's some physics. Uh, other physics could include something like uh, running into uh, a torch and the torch just falls over because you ran into it. Or maybe uh, you bump into a, a crate and if you walk against it, you can actually push the crate. I don't know. Just different physics and stuff like that. Let's move on to this next one. Their next one, uh, this one is by Starflight Gamer. They said their terrible idea is human hands, feet, and ears. I've actually heard this terrible idea before in the past. I've made uh, terrible Ponytown Ideas videos in the past, and I'm pretty sure this was one of the common ones that I've seen. Human hands, human feet, human ears, any sort of human accessories would be extremely cursed. I want to see a pixel artist create that and do it as a mock-up somewhere. I've never seen it, and I hope that one day I will see it. But let's move on to this next one. Um, it's a terrible idea, obviously. But this next one is by Patchwork Rose 567 They said their terrible idea would be implementing human NPCs that are very different style-wise, realistic or non-pixelated, that walk around and give you very obvious tutorials that were practically handed to you anyway from the start. Basically, these human NPCs simply go around taking up space and spewing out info everybody already knows. 
This next one is by Slows Slobs Slopsmore official YouTube. That's right. Slopsmore is official YouTube. It's the official one, guys. It's the official slop. So this person said their bad idea is add voice chat. Honestly, that'd be a terrible idea. Uh, the only way that this could be implemented in a good way is to very like limit it very much like limit it a bunch make it to where you have to be in a party it's um toggled off by default uh you can only hear the people in your party maybe you can even only hear them when you're on the island or something like that uh the thing is, is like it could be implemented in a way that's helpful but i don't ever see it being implemented because it's it of course seems like a very horrible idea <laughs> This next one and this last one uh, is a huge collection of terrible ideas. This one comes from Anime Creeper 500 yt uh, They uh, DM'd me on Discord and said, I have a lot of terrible, amazing ideas. And a lot of them are character creation things. So I just put up a bunch of different ones up on screen, uh, as many as I possibly can all at once. Uh, they have everything from like weird Sonic Goku hybrid hairs to gigantic tails uh, that look really horrible, uh, weird pupilless eyes, uh, generic mouth muzzle, uh, another muzzle, uh, another muzzle, really long legs, which look extremely cursed, a tail that doubles as a ponytail, which is really weird, uh, special new eyes as well, um, and then of course, uh, another terrible idea that they had, would, which I thought was really funny, is the ability to be two players at once, so that you could be two ponies at once at the same exact time, and run around as two different characters at the same time, which would be uh, hard to control and also very confusing and weird. Another hilarious idea that they had is making Skella the new default, which I thought was the best one on there. But uh, yeah, they had a lot of horrible, uh, funny ideas here uh, for Ponytown. And honestly, a lot of you also had horrible, funny ideas. Uh, I greatly appreciate you guys sharing these terrible ideas for Ponytown. Uh, I think they're all hilarious. And they, they uh, one of my favorite things about doing this kind of video is that it gets you kind of thinking like, wait a minute, is that really a bad idea? And then you kind of think about it and it's like, yeah, it's a terrible idea, but what if they did it like this? And it just, it gets you thinking and talking. And I want to see what you guys think of these terrible ideas in the comments below i want to hear more terrible ideas and uh maybe uh, throw in some good ideas in there make me have to guess which ones are good and which ones are bad uh so yeah that's gonna do it for the video i hope you enjoyed uh this funny uh ride here and if you did i would sure as heck appreciate it if you liked subscribed shared and did any number of those wonderful things because when you do those wonderful things like that not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this but you also get to become one for yourself and i think we all want that that's right. We all want that. And until next time, stay wonderful.